Peace to the family. Peace to the family. I hope all is well with you and yours. It is I, it is me, Brother DSP, your friendly neighborhood media personality. And we're now tapped into another installment of Onslaught Multimedia. Please be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, then select all to get every single notification. <laughs> you guys know the routine. You know what it is. Welcome to Onslaught Multimedia. It's your boy DSP. And today we're talking about um, somebody in particular, right? For the past week, past two weeks, ugh, this man's been, uh, been spoken about a lot lately. And no, I'm not talking about Hassan. I'm talking about the brother to his left. You know what I mean? So everything I'm about to say, I want to preface everything with what I'm about to say with that. I have no issues with the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, I don't want anything that I'm about to say to be misconstrued as me disrespecting the community. Actually, what's very um, hilarious about this is someone from the LGBTQ plus community is the one that exposed them. Hey, one thing I learned about them, uh, one thing I learned about that community is this. Don't piss them off, especially if you got something to hide. Don't piss them off, especially if you got something to hide. For example, there's this popular DJ from New York. I don't know um, how many of y'all are from New York that are listening to this and watching this right now. But uh, there was a real popular DJ in New York by the name of Mr. C. I mean, he was popular, probably one of the hottest DJs on Hot 97. But what we didn't know was that he had a fetish. I'll say that. He had a fetish for transsexuals. And I guess he, he was out of pocket one day. They didn't like what he was saying. They didn't like how he was representing the community. And they exposed him. And I mean, let me tell you, when that came out, it was like an uh, atom bomb. So he was in denial for a bit. But now, now he embraces it. Now he doesn't care. Now he says, yes. He says it out loud. I like transsexuals. So I was like, oh, okay, so... You, 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 you found your truth and you're about your truth. Now, for this brother here, um, for the news that got leaked out about him in regards to, um, you know, him masturbating with another man, him dealing with the transsexual and whatnot. To me, I don't think it's that serious. Right. Um, we're in a time where people are a lot more mature when it comes to sexuality. But the thing is, um. I'm not even going to get into the part of the denial, right? Because that's an initial reaction. That's the initial reaction, the knee-jerk reaction to something, especially if you're hiding something. You're going you're gonna to deny it, and you're going to deny it violently. You see what I'm saying? Not adamantly, violently. And that's what Bullets got he's been doing. I mean, uh, who's, uh, yeah, shout out to Naomi Lewinsky. She did a live stream on it. You know what I mean? She had the video of him, you know, masturbating and whatnot, but she had it blocked off because, you know, YouTube is not going to play that. But so the footage is out there. And from listening to Clyde Diva, shout out to both of those uh, Cali sisters. Clyde Diva said there's even other footage or, or audio of this brother masturbating with another man and saying the other man's name. I heard he's got videos on, like, the, the porn sites where he's with the transsexual. I don't know. I wasn't going to look for that. You know what I mean? I got better things to do. But it's, it's just crazy to hear this. And the way he be talking about um, homosexuals on, on YouTube, like, he be, he's wild disrespectful with it. So for all this to come out, it's like, oh, shit. Maybe he was projecting. Right? Maybe he was just trying to hide who he truly was by trying to disrespect the LGBTQ community. It's, it's just, this whole shit is wild to me, man. It's, it's hella wild to me. Like, I don't care if the man is a homosexual. That's his fucking business. What he does in his bedroom is his business. But don't come out here acting like you the, the, the king of kings. Meanwhile, you like bussy. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you, if you a man that likes bussy, own up to that shit. Live your truth. You won't have to worry about these dudes trying to quote unquote expose you. But the more you sit there and violently resist the truth, 
the more and more we're going to see that, yo, maybe he did do it. Maybe Because with me, my thing is, yo, if you didn't do it, why are you so mad? Why are you calling all these brothers out their name? Why are you so mad? It's just, it's just weird, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Then select all to get every single notification if you haven't already. But let me know what y'all think, man. And why, why are y'all so shocked that he is like that? He's cool with Hassan. And we know the dynamic between Hassan and, you know, Bambada. So why are we shocked at this? If Bullet Scotty gets down like that, why are you shocked at that? I wouldn't be. Birds of a feather flock together, baby. <laughs> Hit that like button. Leave a comment so I know your feedback. Subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell. Then select all to get every single notification. I truly appreciate y'all. Y'all be safe. Peace.